Then we see more example about the integration. Example 3. Find the following integrals. Question A is integrate x square plus 5 square dx. So to solve this question, we must expand it first. So the expression of this expansion is integrate, we can get x to the power of 4 plus 10 x square plus 25 dx. So the rules of integration, because this one is plus, so we can solve integrate 1 by 1. So we can get x to the power of 5 over 5 plus this one we can get 10 x cubed over 3 plus 25 x and then plus c. That's the solution of the a. Next that we see for the question b, okay, the rules of integration we can solve it 1 by 1. So we can get this one is 6x to the power of 4 over 4 minus 2x cube over 3 plus c and then we simplify so we can get 3 over 2x to the power of 4 minus 2 over 3x cube plus c. For the question C, because two function is times, so we must expand it first. So integrate, you can get 6x square plus 4x minus 3x. So this one is plus x and then minus 2 dx. We can solve 1 by 1. So, we can get 6x cubed over 3 plus x square over 2 minus 2x plus c. And then lastly, we simplify. So, we get 2x cubed plus x square over 2 minus 2x plus c. That's the solution for the c. Okay, so to make it you more understand about the integration, you can solve this exercise okay, and also given the final answer. Now let me see for the next subtopic of the integration where is determine the integration of 1 over x and 1 over ax plus b. The integral of 1 over x and 1 over ax plus b. Remember, we have the formula okay, or rules of the integration. x to the power of n dx is equal to x to the power of, to solve it, okay, remember the power rule, n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. But for here, okay, for the special case, if integrate x to the power of n dx when n is equal to negative 1, so it must be the solution is in differentiate. Okay, if you still remember, okay, we have the previous lesson. D dx ln x is equal to 1 over x. This one we have learned it in the semester 1. If we differentiate ln x, we get 1 over x. Therefore, reversing the process give. So, if integrate 1 over x dx, so the answer is ln x plus c. Okay, reverse. Because if we differentiate ln x, we get 1 over x. That's why if we integrate 1 over x, so we can get ln x. Okay, same case if the question is 1 over ax plus b dx. So the solution we can get ln ax plus b divided by differentiate of ax plus b, which is we have a. Then plus c.
Okay, now let me see the example. Find the following integrals. Okay, so the question A. Okay, 2 over x dx. Okay, so to solve it. 2 over x dx, x, if we make it indices, we get x to the power of negative 1. That's why this question 2 is a constant we can put out of integral. So, we have 1 over x dx. That's why the answer is 2. Integrate 1 over x, we get ln x and then plus c. Okay, so for the question B, okay, 5 minus 3x also if make it in indices, this one is to the power of negative 1. That's why to solve this question, the answer is we get ln, this one is 5 minus 3x, okay, and then divided by differentiate 5 minus 3x, we get negative 3, okay, but Okay, because ln is always positive, that's why we write in the form of more modulus. 5 minus 3x over negative 3 plus c. Okay, same case for the question c. 3 over 2 is a constant, so we put out of integral. So, this one can be 1 over x minus 1 dx. So, we get the answer 3 over 2. This one is ln. Okay, and then, okay, modulus x minus 1 plus c. Remember that, okay, the answer after the ln must be more modulus to show that the ln is always positive. Okay, now let me see Next example, example 5. Find the integral of the following functions. So, for the A, the answer is direct. We can get the answer 5 ln x plus c. Okay, so same case for the question B. Okay, integrate 1, we get x minus integrate 1 over x is ln x plus c. Okay, so for the question C, same case, the question. Okay, so the answer is ln modulus 3x minus 1 over 3 plus C. And then for the D, the answer is because question is 1 over 1 minus x. So the answer is ln modulus 1 minus x over negative 1. Okay, plus C or we can simplify, we can write negative ln, this one is 1 minus X and then plus C. So, for the answer E, okay, 2 over 3 is a constant, so this one we get ln 1 minus 2X over negative 2 plus c so we can simplify so negative 2 negative 2 simplify we get negative 1 over 3 ln 1 minus 2 x plus c okay to make you more understand okay you can solve this exercise with the final answer. Good luck.